Hi, this is Steve from AppSplanation.com, and this is our quick start guide for the application Snapchat. And I'm running it on iOS. Uh, this is an iPhone 5 I'm running it on right now, uh, also available for the iPad and iPod Touch, of course. And if you haven't heard of Snapchat, uh, basically it's an application that allows you to send pictures and videos to uh, other people. Uh, but unlike uh, doing it via text, uh, these uh, pictures and videos have a time limit on them. They can only be viewed for a certain number of seconds and they uh, sort of self-destruct after that. They can never be viewed again. Uh, I'll let your imagination run wild on why you would want to do that. Uh, but aside from the obvious, uh, even just playing around with friends or uh, you know, just sending any sort of image that you didn't would never want anybody to see again, you know, if you're having a bad hair day or something like that, then uh, you can certainly use this uh, application for that. And I'm going to go ahead and fire it up here. Uh, your first view it's always going to uh, typically bring you to is this screen here, which is your uh, main camera screen. Uh, so it has all of your camera controls on it. Uh, in the upper left, turning your flash off and on. In the upper right, flipping uh, the camera from front to back. On the right side, you have your contact list. And on the left side, you have your... Uh, message list, so anything that's been sent by you or received uh, from somebody else is going to show up in the list here. Why don't we just tap on this to show you. And we've got two in here. I've already uh, sent one and viewed one just to uh, test out to see if I could send one to myself, and I could. And uh, if you need to get back into your settings, change your account or anything like that, you do it from uh, this screen in the upper right there uh, is your settings button. And to get back to the camera, of course, we tap back here, camera symbol. And so what you're going to do, uh, let's just take a picture here. And so I've taken a picture, uh, it freezes it here, and it allows us to do uh, a couple things at this point. Uh, down here, we can uh, save this to our camera roll if we want. Uh, Far to the left, uh, you see a little uh, stopwatch, and if we tap on this, on a photo at least, we can choose how many seconds we want this to last. So let's uh, let's just say five seconds. Tap back into the open area to get out of that screen. Uh, in the bottom middle here is kind of a new. Uh, a new function for this app uh, that I haven't really gotten into much. It's called My Story, uh, but it's sort of like a Facebook or, or Twitter type feed where you can permanently save pictures and stuff too. Uh, we won't mess with that. That's sort of an added on functionality. Uh, the main the main function is of course just sending pictures and videos to uh, other people. In the upper right, uh, once we've taken a picture or video, you see a little pencil symbol and if we tap on that uh, you can see it brings up a color chart. I'll just tap on a nice like blue here. And then we can just go into the screen here and draw on it. Uh, in this case we'll write hi. And now if we want to send this to somebody, or of course, well, actually I should stop and say, uh, if you want to undo anything you've done, you just got to tap uh, this button here. And it will undo the lines you've drawn uh, sequentially. Uh, but now that we've got that, let's tap over to here. It's going to pull up our contact list. I'm just going to send it to myself. You can, of course, select multiple people to do it to. And then the bottom right, I'll just tap it, and it will send it. And as you can see, it's going to give uh, me a message that it's been delivered. So we know the other person got the message. And up here uh, is the message I just sent to myself. So if I tap on that now, see it's got the picture, and in the upper right you can see it counting down. And it was five seconds, and now it's gone. And it's gone forever. So nobody, uh, nobody can ever see that again. Uh, videos uh, last as long as the video lasts. So you can view a video once, and it's done, 
and it doesn't really give you any instructions on this but in order to do a video you tap the button like you're going to take a picture but instead of just tapping it you want to just hold it so I'm tap and hold and you see the timer starts and I think it'll do 10 seconds of video yeah. so now we've got our video we can of course tap back up here draw something in there Again. and we can save this again to our photo album if we want uh, and now we have a volume option here we can mute it if we want uh, but we'll just send this to ourselves again and just right back to the list and videos of course take a little bit longer to send so I'll just give it a minute here and it's been sent and now I can uh, tap on it and view it. And as you can see the timer counting down and it's you know whatever length of time that video is is how long that will last. And that is about it on uh, Snapchat uh, except for one kind of interesting uh, security feature here. Uh, if you know how to take a screenshot uh, by holding the uh, power button and the uh, uh, home button on your phone, uh, you can try to do that with this application, but it will warn whoever you've sent a photo to that they're doing it. So if I will just demonstrate to you how that works. So I'll take another picture, go to here. send it and now press and hold the view and this is really hard to actually do on a phone since you need to use three fingers to do it uh, and they're in different sides of the phone but uh, I'll just try to pull it off here and nope alrighty messed up the first time but we'll try this again and again it's difficult because in order to even view the photo you have to uh, tap and hold on it uh, in order to get it to show up uh, but we'll try this one more time there we go and as you'll see here once I've done that now it's given a message back to me that uh, this picture I sent here there was a screenshot taken of so uh, again no, you can't really stop anybody from doing that but at least you'll know uh, when they did do it so uh, it's about as secure as you can make it uh, hopefully uh, someday they'll figure out how to do it and uh, lock out the uh, screenshot function uh, if you want to add people invite people uh, you just go into your contact list in here uh, there's a little plus symbol where you can just uh, you know send it to your friends and stuff so that they download the app as well if they're not already on your list and that's it uh, it's just a fun little app uh, hope you have fun with it and uh, have a great day